you can tell that I love physical media because I own a really expensive Xbox 360. So if you take a look at the backlog of this YouTube channel, you probably wouldn't be surprised if I told you that I partake in a hobby called video game collecting. And to keep it short and sweet, what that means is I own video games not to play them particularly, but just to have them, to say that I own them. And now that I'm saying that out loud, it sounds, it sounds really stupid and cringe. <laughs> I mean, that's not to say that I haven't played every game I own. I think that I've probably played every game that I do own. Hold on, let me look. No, there's definitely some games over on that wall that have never been put into my Xbox. And right there lies the problem with being a video game collector. I own so many games that I'll never have the time to play them all, let alone complete all of them. And this problem is starting to spread even further than my physical collection and into my digital collection. I'm serious, there are games in my Steam library that literally have zero hours of playtime just because I have too many games. Steam puts a $60 game on sale for three cents, I'm buying it. Even if it's not a game I wanna play, I, ju I just wanna have it. On the off chance that one late night when I'm rotting in that Mario bed over there that I wanna play it. That's the equivalent of going to Walmart, purchasing a game and never opening it. Oh no. <laughs> I have a problem. The worst part is, is I own all of these games digitally already. So what's the point? Why do I feel the need to own so many video games? Well, for me, I think it's a combination of just growing up playing video games and loving the escape from reality they provide, along with not having much money after said video games were bought, so father would inevitably pawn them off. Wow, that got really sad pretty quickly. To lighten the load. We're putting on a Bass Pro hat. White Bass Pro or Black Bass Pro? I think I'm going White Bass Pro today. All my homies hate the Black Bass Pro. I've been fishing one time in my life. <laughs> it's okay, I'm a redneck. I'm allowed to wear it. It's not a fashion thing. I just really like the hat. Now that I'm older, have a job, and have some disposable income, I want to go back and buy all these games that I A, played as a child, or B, never got to experience as a child because I just didn't have the money to purchase them. Example, Spongebob Truth or Square for the Xbox 360. This was one of the first games that I bought with my own money back in 2019 when I was around 14 to 15 years old. Years old. That's when I first started taking the Scott the Waz pill. Cool some ordinary Joe fact, you can actually go and watch the video where I purchased this and a few other games at a local retro video game store. The person that actually took my order when I was there buying the games, I thought looked like Scott the Waz and it freaked me out so much that I told my mom about it. She didn't care. It's weird though, because I work with that guy now at a different video game store. Back to SpongeBob Truth or Square though. This was the first game that I beat entirely by myself when I was a child. And at the time that seemed like an accomplishment, but looking back on it, I've realized that I can actually beat the game in under three hours. But that experience of going out into the real world, touching grass and going on an adventure, so to speak, like it's fucking Skyrim. I don't know, it just stuck with me and I, I really liked it. I, I wanted more of that. It was like when you're a seven year old and your parents take you to GameStop to buy you a video game and on the way home, you're looking at the case, reading everything on it, you know, flipping through the manual. Oh wait, games don't have manuals anymore. Seriously, what is the experience of video games for children now? You don't even get a useless piece of paper. But the difference here was I bought the game with my money and instead of me just playing it so I could then sell it to buy more games, it was going on my shelf so I could look at it along with my other games. Sounds cool to me. Let's do it some more. I think that I might just have a hoarding problem though, because now that I'm looking at my backdrop, I also have cereal boxes and a hat collection. So I kept buying more and more video games. And at the time, my main focus was Nintendo 64 and Xbox 360 games. Xbox 360, because that's what I grew up playing. And Nintendo 64, because I was a collector and I had to collect Nintendo shit. I don't even like Nintendo games. Like the only thing I care about is Zelda. The only reason I have a Nintendo Switch is so I can play Skyrim on the go and now I have a Steam Deck, so who cares about the Nintendo Switch? What, I can, I can play Outer Worlds at 15 frames per second? Although, for me, collecting does go beyond just wanting to play the games. It's more about what the games represent, you know? Video games are an art form in themselves. I mean, I talked about the case art. I mean, this one's kind of dopey, but someone had to draw that. Someone had to sit down there, think about it, and say, this is what we're going to advertise th this game with. And even deeper than that, What's on the disc itself has music, has gameplay, has art design. That's all art. 
So it's more about what the game represents. I mean, each video game that I own is genuinely a piece of art bottled up into some microplastics that are going to be some turtle's lunch within the next 50 years. Eventually, this hobby of mine evolved into something more sinister. Around the time that I started this channel, I finally got a real job working at Foodline. And for the first time in my life, I had a stable stream of income to feed my lust for plastic junk. Imagine this, 16 year old Joseph works like 20 hours for $100 on his Foodline paycheck and he goes to the nearest video game store and what are the two games he picks up? I don't know, games that are shit? I know Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time aren't shit games, and I've played and beat both of these and enjoyed them, but there's better things that my money could have been spent on, that's what I'm trying to say here. In a very literal sense, I can experience these games in a much better form on the 3DS, which I had at the time, instead of going out to buy a Nintendo 64 and these games. I literally just bought games because they were a part of a popular franchise or because they had value. As I've gotten older, my addiction to video game collecting has slowed down tremendously, and I think that's parodied by the nature of this channel. I mean, I used to make video game collecting videos or videos surrounding video game stores and now it's like I play video games or talk about video games. Now the video games that I have in my collection are ones that I've played and enjoyed or games that I intend on playing. And then you have Power Slave Exhumed that I bought just because, I don't know, I like boomer shooters. I used to buy games just to own games, okay? Now when I buy games, it's for a purpose or to fit a very specific thing that I know eventually I will play them. It's not just because I want more video games on my shelf. That's what I've tried to say. I've also sold off a big portion of my video game collection through the years because I just don't need that much plastic, man. Especially for games that I don't care about or don't intend on playing. A weird turn of events has been happening recently, though. The games that I've been interested in playing have all been digital only and do not get physical releases, or at least not physical releases on the shit box. So I just end up buying them digitally anyways. You would have never caught 16 year old Joseph saying that he owns a digital video game. That's for pussies. I mean, it's crazy. I used to be very anti-digital media. Now it's like I own a Steam Deck and that's digital only console. For anyone wondering, my favorite games to collect right now though are still Xbox 360, Xbox One, and then I have this weird subset of sealed Nintendo Switch games. Specifically, Nintendo Switch limited run boomer shooter releases. I, I don't know why, but I'm really drawn to these. Mostly because my favorite game genre is first person shooters and specifically like boomer shooters. And I don't know, man, strife on the Nintendo Switch, that's cool. Hey, post credits Joseph here. Sorry for this being really scuffed, but I'm on the way to the gym. Uh, I just wanted to announce that there is a Discord server now. Link will be in the description. Uh, click one of the videos on screen, maybe a playlist. You like gaming? I have gaming videos. Or if you wanna watch another commentary video, there's probably more of those on the channel. Uh, they probably suck. Don't watch any of the videos. Unsubscribe from the channel if you're already subscribed. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Or not, you can block me. That's an option too.